Hello, everyone. Bless God, our chain breaker and way maker. Please receive this prayer over your financial growth and increase and listen until the end. Let's start with an attitude of prayer. Heavenly God, I pray that we enter into an attitude of prayer and stillness in you. Please, God, let this prayer over our finances bring us sweet peace, encouragement in you, and hope in you alone, God of hope, because you are our refuge and strong tower. And I pray, God, that every believer who hears these prayers is blessed exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think. God, according to your will and purpose for our lives on every single side. Amen. God, please uh, bless um, this time of uh, worship prayer. Father God, we pray to you, our bright and morning star and our everlasting hope. And we ask that you receive this prayer over our finances for our own lives, our families, our friends, and everyone, God, who concerns us. God, thank you for everything you have done for us, everything you are doing for us, and everything you plan to do for us, God, to prosper us in every single way as we trust and obey you more and more. Heavenly God, we pray that because uh, we know that you alone have all of life's answers, that we trust you more, God, and trust you over and above anyone or anything. You alone, God, are our true provider. And you alone, God, are our true healer. You alone, God, are our true shepherd of our souls. You alone, God, are the glory and the one who lifts our heads and Father God, you are our absolute everything, mighty God, including our truth, shield, and buckler. And so loving God, we desire more relationship with you that's deepening and intense and more loving with you, God, our Father, our Redeemer, Jesus Christ, and our comfort, our Holy Ghost. And so we pray that more every day we trust you, believe you, and depend on you so that we can reflect the character, heart, and mind of Jesus and our bread of life more every single day. Amen. Living God, please receive this prayer over our financial growth and increase. Dear Abba Father, our true and perfect provider, we're coming before you in faith and confidence, believing that you will answer our prayer for amazing financial and growth, uh, growth and increase that we pray God will reign on our lives until there's no room to contain our blessings. So long, God, as it pleases you for you to bless us and for us to bring you glory. Father God, we thank you and we praise you, Father in heaven, for gladly blessing us with good gifts as we ask according to your will. And so, Father God, we look to you, almighty God. We fully appreciate and recognize that everything under heaven belongs to you, God. All the silver and gold are yours, Father. Every animal of the forest is yours and the cattle on a thousand hills. God, we humbly understand that we don't really truly own anything, Father, because the earth is yours. The world is yours, Lord, and everything in it and all of us who live in it and the heavens above belong to you, God. Lord of hosts, while we ask for financial growth and increase, we understand that we are here to serve you with all the blessings that you provide to us. Father, help us please to recognize, totally abandon, and overcome all self-serving agendas, greediness, materialistic attitudes, and any corrupt desires for money um, or any love for money within our hearts. Whether we recognize it or not, help us, Father God to overcome these things. God, we're willing and ready to lay everything at your feet. And we ask for your plan alone to get wealth that will bring you glory through our lives more and more. Father, please renew our minds about biblical principles on money and wealth. Help us to get the information we need to know what you um, want us to understand about money and wealth. God, help us to get totally free from the get rich quick schemes and all the dishonest ways we may have tried to gain wealth. Lord, we repent of compromising our integrity, our Jesus witness, and anything we've done that has been displeasing to you in order to get wealthy by any means necessary, just like the world does. God, please put us on the right path for financial growth and increase. Please help us to honestly, wisely, 
and with your favor, God, grow our money little by little with great patience and thankfulness for everything, God, that we have right now. So we pray, Father God, for increased thankfulness and contentment for things that we have right now. God, we repent of all the years that we have been driven by money in any way, rather than having uh, been driven by our faith in you as God, our provider. God, we repent of making money an idol or a compass for our lives in any way, even if it was intentional or just in our ignorance. Father, we know that you're pleased to meet all our needs and many of our desires. But God, we pray, please help us to examine the error in our hearts over money and materialistic things. Because your, world, uh, your word, God, tells us that the world is passing and its desires will pass away. But God, whoever does your will lives forever. So God, we pray to place all our trust in you as our only provider. Not money, not man, and not our jobs. Oh, hallelujah, Father God. Hallelujah, Father God. Lord God, we know that you provide us with the jobs and opportunities that help us. We know that you use these things as tools to help us grow financially and spiritually. And so, Lord God, we do pray for financial stability, abundant resources, the best employment, or even the best independent uh, work opportunities that will help us to level up financially, God. But also, God, well, uh, that will help us to have the time and um, the tools that we need to reflect you more strongly in our different workspaces and places in life. And to help us gain more skills and tools, God, where we, uh, we can become experts or inspired to build greater wealth with the gifts and talents you've given us, so long as they align with your will for our lives. And God, I pray for passion to do the work. Father God, our vine, we can't do anything apart from you, and we don't want to know um, anymore. God, we pray to level up in our finances so that we can bear lots of good fruit, and serve your kingdom purposes for our lives, God, without having to chase money or choke over money. And we ask, God, that you please help us, God, come from under the dark cloud of lack and debt and um, just overwhelming debt in some cases, God. Father, we need your help for every single thing. And we ask you to please bless us with amazing financial growth and an abundance mindset, not the world. Uh, the way the world defines abundance, God, but your definition of abundance. Above and beyond, we can ask or imagine. All powerful God, our perfect provider, we're asking for increased faith, wisdom, and trust in you alone to supply our needs according to the riches of your glory in Christ Jesus. Lord, please help us to totally have confidence in your unfailing love to provide for us and increase our financial growth. So that, God, we can have increased productivity in your kingdom, God, and just enjoyment in our everyday lives as you please provide that to us. Father, I pray, please, we pray, please, for perfect stewardship over every single blessing you entrust to us so that we are faithful to use our blessings wisely for our everyday lives and to store treasures in heaven with gladness. Lord, we surrender worry and fear about our bills and debt and how these things are going to get paid. In fact, God, what our futures even hold? Because creator God, you care for the ravens of the, earl, uh, of the air. And I know God, we know God, we're much more valuable uh, than these beautiful creatures. So please help us to stop worrying and losing sleep and complaining and, and taking these foolish shortcuts because none of these things can add any good to our lives. God, we need your peace and joy that only you can provide and we trust and obey you in our financial growth and increase as we overflow with hope by the power of your Holy, uh, um, your Holy Spirit. Holy God, while we pray for amazing financial blessings, God, we also pray to overcome pride and a false sense of superiority because of the financial privileges or fake friends that money can bring. So God, we ask that you bless us with humility and great discernment and vigilance to detect even a hint of love for money, which we know, God, is the root of all kinds of evil. Living water, our perfect uh, provider, our dear loving God, 
please help us to keep our lives free from the love of money and to be content with what we have, God, right now, not just waiting to live later. Because, God, you said you will never leave us or forsake us. And, God, that matters more than anything. Loving Shepherd, help us, please, to consistently, gladly, and intentionally revere you above our financial blessings and material wealth. King of all kings, please help us to fix our eyes on you at all times. You alone are the one who blesses us. And help us, Father, to fix our eyes on you, the blesser, and not the blessings themselves. Lord, we know that you will bless us financially in your way and in your time. And so we're asking, meanwhile, God, please help us to educate ourselves about money according to your scripture and um, God with practical information that will be helpful to us. God, help us to be patient, help us to be at peace and help us, God, to enjoy the process of learning about financial um, increase and growth and stewardship and just being thankful and content now. Perfect provider, we pray to always surrender all of our financial concerns and desires into your hands. And Lord, as we wait on you to work um, our situations out with our financial growth and increase, we ask that you help us to allow your power to work within us. Help us to stand in faith. Help us to stand, God, in faith and keep standing even during the most difficult financial times that we can experience. God, sometimes we don't feel like we have enough money to cover our expenses. Some of them are known. Some of them are unexpected. And God, we don't even know when we're going to overcome our financial hurdles or overwhelming debt. But we know, God, you're our provider. We know, God, your love is unfailing. We know, God, everything that comes out of your mouth does not come back void. And so, Lord God, we thank you for your constant provisions that you've given us now. We thank you, Father God, for the increased provisions and the increased growth um, in our uh, finances. And that you lead us to become financially stable and secure. Lord, we adore you for always being with us and guiding us in everything that we do that you uh, see as good in your own sight. God and almighty father, we are thankful to be citizens in your kingdom over and above men's kingdom. We lift you and praise loving God for the rights and promises we possess as citizens in your kingdom. And we pray God to stand on these promises and trust you completely as our only true and perfect provider God. Not all of these other sources, even though they are blessings from above. We thank you, Abba and Christ, overseer of our souls, that heaven's unlimited resources are our possession in your name. God, as you choose to provide for us for your glory. Above all, God, more than anything, Father, we pray to have a passionate hunger and thirst for righteousness, not for money, not for things, so that, Father God, we will truly be filled with what matters the most. We pray to diligently observe your commands and walk in obedience and reverence to you alone, God, above money, above men, and above this world. Because we love you, God, and you alone, please Bless us to come into a good land, a land with brooks, streams, and deep springs gushing out into the valleys and hills. Hallelujah, our holy master and commander and bread of life. Amen and amen. Dear Lord, thank you for receiving our prayers. And we know, Father God, that you are working even though we can't see you. And so we pray that you bless us and keep us and make your face shine on us and be gracious to us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for listening. Please like, comment, and subscribe.